Jeff from Still Dragon here. Today we are going to talk about sizing your first distillation still. So we get these questions a lot. We've got a lot of first time uh, distillery owners coming in and the idea is that, hey, we're looking to start this distillery. We want to make X, Y, and Z. You have this wonderful plan um, and all you know about what size still is, I heard a hundred gallon still is too small. I heard a thousand gallon still is too big or somewhere in between, right? So what we'll do is we're gonna kind of come up with a, a really simple scenario and do some numbers to show how that would size with the still. Because the numbers are easiest, we'll just do a vodka distillery. Say in our vodka, exclusive vodka distillery, we want to do 2,500 cases a year. Okay, for our 2,500 case a year vodka distillery, we're going to run the numbers on a thousand liter kettle with, um, we'll use a, a 12 inch column and we'll use a relative, a very safe collection speed of 20 liters an hour. Regardless of what size you make the still, you're, you're gonna wanna just make sure that you can bring it to temp and cool whatever heat you're putting in, right? So a good rule of thumb for us, we generally try and make it so the still can be heated up um, to running temp in an hour. So as long as we size the cooling to offset that heat, piece of cake. So what we're gonna do is with our thousand liter kettle, um, so thousand liter kettle, we're gonna put a big old column on here cause it's vodka and we know that column width, right? So the column width is the speed and the column height, you know, the amount of plates we have in the column is going to be purity at speed. I don't think I really have to write this down, but maybe it'll look better in a video if I do. Next, I will go over the numbers. Let me get rid of our beautiful still here. So for our 2,500 case a year vodka distillery, we're just gonna run the numbers through the still. So we need our kettle size. Oh, that looks awful. I'm writing from a bad angle, part of my terrible uh, penmanship. We need the ABV we're charging the kettle with. So whether you're using beer or wine or whatever it is, so the ABV of the kettle charge. We need our collection ABV. We need our loss factor, right? So anyone who's done any distillation knows that not all of the alcohol that goes in the kettle is going to come out as collectible kept spirit, right? So we've got our loss factor and then last is our bottle ABV. For this example, we're going to start with a thousand liter kettle, really common size. So one thousand liter kettle, uh, the ABV we're gonna charge the kettle with is 10%. All right, next is gonna be the collection ABV. We're making vodka, right? So if we're making vodka, it's gotta be at least 95%. That's right, kids. Okay, um, loss factor, it's gonna be up to you. For really simple numbers, I'm gonna use 30%. 30% seems to be a reasonable number to lose. And then bottle ABV, again, we're making vodka, most likely gonna be 80 proof, so 40%. All right. So in our thousand liter kettle of 10% alcohol, collecting at 95%. So we've got switch sides here because it'll be easy to write this way. So a thousand liters at 10% is what? 100 liters, right? Now, if we take this 100 liters and the collection ABV is 95%, that's about 105 liters. So with 105 liters, if we lose 30% of that, that comes out in like the 70, I want to say it's 74. I'm going to put 74. It might be 75, but that's okay. So now we have 74 liters at 95% after we've taken out the loss for cuts, right? So when we take the 74 liters of 95% and dilute it down, the magic number comes out to, I'm going to cheat because I don't know off the top of my head, approximately 
230 bottles. I think the number is like 233 of 40%. So 80 proof bottles, 750 ml bottles. So with this, it's relatively simple to see what our annual output can be based on what one run of the still is. We just want to take our, you know, 230. So 230 bottles, you know, times however many days a week you're going to distill when doing your original planning. Uh, it is crazy to think that you are going to run your still five days a week, 52 weeks a year, right? So let's say we're going to take our 230, we're going to run it, or let's, so our 230 bottles, we're going to do that, um, we'll say three days a week, right? Um, let's give ourselves some maybe vacation time, maintenance time, and just life in general. So we'll do 46 weeks a year. So there you go, 230 um, times three is 690 times 46. Let me break out a calculator is like 31,740 bottles. So if we're doing nine liter cases, that's 12 bottles a case. That turns out to 2645, 2,645 cases. So we wanted to do 2,500 cases of vodka a year. If everything went absolutely perfect and our numbers were true from our recipe batches and we knew what we'd get, this puts us in a really safe, comfortable place with plenty of room to expand. We um, can help you size stills for any production needs you want or any products. We started here with vodka because it's really simple and easy and should be pretty cut and dry. But thanks for watching. Um, please take time to like, subscribe, check out all of the other Still Dragon stuff. Come by our website, stilldragon.com. Check out the global forum at stilldragon.org. Or come down and visit us. We're in Florida. It's beautiful here. Thanks very much. Have a great evening. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> really this time. Really this time. All right.